Hello, I'm Desiree Russo, an eighth grader from Hastings Middle School. Oh, yeah. Hello, Morgan. You should know that I hate you, but thanks for trying to say that I need to come back to the truth in the form of a text. I know you believe that I will. Ironic, isn't it? I thought we were best friends. You, at the time, a 15-year-old boy dumping all of your emotions onto a 12-year-old girl. I'm 14 now, and you are 17. Even though you are older than me, more mature, you continue to spread your lies to as many people as possible. You continue to use your face as a trap to make girls stuff themselves into skirts. Recently, I had a dream, and you were in it. You came to my school to witness to them in the middle of that assembly. I stand out of nowhere, I start crying, and I say I hate you. All the people I considered friends when I was with you brought me down and treated me like chewed up gum. Leaving me stranded in a crowd of moving people, making me feel alone when you were standing right next to me. You can never do that here, and you will never do that here. You are in a cult that worships a God who doesn't allow people to have free speech. Yet you can stand on your tiny podium and preach to strangers all you want. That's not fair. It's not fair how people, how you can stand on your tiny podium and preach to strangers all you want. It's not fair how you can own Playboy magazines, but that kid who controlled the soundboard is a despicable monster. I'm sorry you had to glorify your grandmother like a god. She made me do the same. But you, you agree with her narcissism. You agree with her that that LGBTQ girl just wanted attention. You agreed with your grandmother that she was not acting human. But how can you say that? Your parents are technically first cousins and they gave birth to you. Don't text me. Don't talk about me, and don't you dare say my name because you don't deserve it on your tongue. You don't deserve my name's sweet aftertaste. You knew my fears back then, that no one would like me, that your God did not approve of me. You knew how scared of knives I was, and yet you fake cut yourself as a joke. You as well. But I am no longer scared of you. Goodbye because I am kicking you out of my life and memories. I hope you learn that a girl can do anything. She can have a career and run for president. She can cut her hair just like you do, and she will never be your housewife. Girls can do anything and will do anything, including hate you, including leave you. Sincerely, a 14-year-old me.